my name is Matthias Renger with Guitar Control, and today you're going to be learning this really groovy and funky lick. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and remember to click on the link in the description to get the tab. Let's get down to it. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to play this at a very slow speed. Okay, so the first thing that we have is an E minor 7 chord. And for those of you who don't know this chord, you're going to place uh, your index finger on the 7th fret all throughout the 5th and 4th, 3rd, 2nd and 1st string. And then you're going to place your ring finger on the ninth fret of the 4th uh, string and your middle finger on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. Cool, so then we're going to do... We're going to start off with this and then you're going to hammer on into that chord, like that, see? And then you have this rhythm, and the most uh, easy way to see this rhythm is if you just keep keep on moving your hand a lot, and then you just kind of like sing it out, right? So... And whenever you're not playing it, whenever you're not playing the notes, just play dead notes, like muted notes, and keep moving your hand, so. Right? Um, so for the next part, we're gonna do this really, really cool lick that I came up with. So you're gonna, you're gonna start on the ninth fret of the second, of the third string. And you're gonna do this. So for that, you're gonna go ninth fret, eighth fret, and tenth fret. Now, the thing with this lick is that the end note is the first of the next uh, pair of notes. So it's like you do, and then you repeat this one that you just played, right? So it's almost as if you were doing this. But I prefer to move the hand, so that's the idea of it. So you exercise also moving your hand a lot, so you go, and then you put the index finger where your ring finger is, and then you do that, see? So I do not suggest that you do this, see? See how I, it's like, I'm moving, I'm like, I'm not moving the hand, but I'm just moving the finger and then I'm moving the other one. No, don't do that. So what you want to do, you want to move the hand, so you want to do... See, when I, when I, the moment that I place that there, I immediately move this really fast. So now after that, you're going to go be, uh, down below that, right there, and then right there. So, 9th fret, uh, fret of the 3rd string, 8th fret of the 2nd string, 10th fret of the 2nd string, 10th fret of the 2nd string, 12th fret of the 2nd string, 10th fret of the 1st string, 12th fret of the 1st um, string, 12th fret of the 1st string, and 14th fret of the 1st string. So. And you have to be playing all of this. I don't want any legato in this, okay? I mean, though you could do it if you want, but the idea with this is that you play. And now after that, you're gonna go into the 15th fret of the first string and you're gonna hammer on to the 7th, 17th fret, like that, so. And then after that, you're gonna go back to the 12th fret and hammer on to the 14th, right? That already is a really cool lick that you can practice. So after that, you're gonna go into the 10th and hammer on to the 12th fret. But here comes something really cool. We're gonna slide up and slide down and pull off. 
right? So. And now you're gonna finish that up with this. You're gonna go into the 12th fret of the second string. And then back to the first string, 10th and, and 12th. So. And now you do almost the same thing, but here. Right? So you go into the 10th fret of the second string, hammering on to the 12th fret. Then you go down to the 8th fret, just hammering on to the 10th fret, and sliding up to the 11th, and sliding back down to the 10th, and pulling off to the 8th. So. so. And now you're gonna finish it up with the first note that you play, and the 7th fret of the first string, and the first note that you play. So. All together. It's a really, really cool lick that you can use with any minor chord. You could just like, since it's like mostly, um, uh, it's mostly used for minor chords, so you can just like bring it down to like even a B minor chord and you would just have to like extend it. Down was kind of hard, but anyway, so you get the idea, and I would suggest that you practice this in part, in parts as usual, you know, like, just grab a first part, grab this first part, and just practice that, you know, until you master it. After that, then start practicing stuff like this, you know, like, just practice that on its own, and then practice this. Practice that until you master it, and then you can just put it all together, you know, like. It also sounds a little bit gospel new, so depending, I mean, right now I'm using a lot of distortion, so probably it wouldn't be super, super gospel. But anyway, uh, that's all. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and that you're able to incorporate this funky lick into your playing. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons. Also, I would love to know what topic you would like me to cover in my next video. So please leave a suggestion down below as a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Not so fast, don't go anywhere. I got a bunch of videos all over the screen. So click on any of them to get more awesome guitar lessons.